And what's going on, YouTube? Fontaine here, VIPSoundLab.com. And we're back with another Machine 2.0 tutorial, as well as the Machine Studio tutorial. The first upload, if you guys didn't see that, you might want to check that out. It was rather lengthy. But I just wanted to get some people caught up because we were a little bit behind and getting the uh, tutorial videos out. So now we're going to start focusing towards more shorter videos and getting right to the point. So then that way you guys can get in, get the knowledge, and then jump out right quick. So um, I have some questions as far as importing MIDI. So uh, let's go ahead and jump to that. As you can see right here, the Machine Studio controller, you might want to get familiar with your scene as well as your pattern tabs here. Okay. You can lock these in with these buttons up here. Okay. But see, the thing is, like when you're on your scene, your pattern buttons here, it shows your patterns down in your pads as well as your scenes down in your pads. You know, and you can adjust your, you know, your scene positions and stuff like that, as well as your pattern lengths, and you can adjust your quantization. You can remove patterns and scenes and double them, duplicate them, basically just like the uh, 1.8 software. But what you want to do is you want to hit right here where it says arrange. We have an arrange button now. When arrange comes up, I'm on pattern, or rather I'm on the scene button here. You can put your patterns like so. I put a little MIDI note right here just to show this little icon here where you can zoom in. You see how I'm zooming in? There's a little MIDI note right there. I hope you guys can see that on that cam. And this controls the position. See how I'm moving through the pattern like so? That's how that works. So, so you can imagine how that works exactly the same on the scene. You see right there. You zoom in on the scene. Or I can navigate through the scene. So you might say, why is that important? It makes no sense. It's just one big block. <laughs> well, actually it does because Native Instruments made it now so you can um, you can loop, you know, within these like little bars and beats. You can get like to the little finest little increment. So you definitely want to get familiar with that because that's going to be uh, a very important uh, thing you're going to have to learn with this. So let's go back here. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to actually take a look at importing some MIDI into machine and get you up and running. So let's go ahead and do that. And welcome back. It's your boy Fontaine. So right about now, we're going to take a look at actually importing some MIDI from Ableton Live into machine 2.0. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here we are inside Ableton Live. Let's go ahead and get this set up right quick. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a quick four bar loop like so. Actually, you know what? I think I got a template. Let's go ahead and save some time. Yeah, I have a template right here. Let's use this template instead. It's blank. So it's basically going to get you up and running anyway, because what I did was it's just a four bar loop here. Here's some drum sounds right here. I'm using the Ableton Live drum rack. So let's say, for example, let's insert a MIDI clip right quick here. Okay, here's some drum sounds. Let's go ahead and uh, let's make a MIDI a MIDI pattern right quick. Let's go ahead and set this to one fourth notes. Now we'll do one eighth. Let's see. Let's grab some hi hats here. Make a quick hi hat pattern here. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, not bad. Let's go ahead and grab some uh, some snares right quick. You know, just a just a simple pattern, nothing fancy or nothing like that. Okay, see. Let's just do a simple. Yeah, let's do it like that. All right, basic pattern. You know, I just want to get that in really quick. Don't think I'm trying to make a beat because I wouldn't make no beat like that. I would never have my hi hats <laughs> so confined like that. That you know, that's so robotic and no, that doesn't give your, your music any movement or any feel. But anyway, all right, turn the pencil tool off. Okay, so now we have a MIDI pattern. 
All right, so now we want to get this MIDI pattern into the machine. There, there's multiple ways you can do it, uh, but right now I'm just going to cover this. This is kind of like 101, you know, so we'll start here. We'll get into more complex routing of audio and MIDI in future videos. But for right now, this is the basics, so let's go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and let's right-click here. Let's export this MIDI clip uh, where we can find it really easily. Let's do it on the desktop here, and we'll call it uh, Ableton MIDI. All right, we'll save that to the desktop. We'll go back to machine. Now with machine, there's, there's many ways you can do this. This little MIDI pattern I'm gonna take off because that's what I was doing uh, in the beginning of the video to show you, you know, how to zoom in on your patterns and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and erase this pattern off. So let's say we had a blank session here where we needed to get our MIDI notes in here. We're on the grid right now. The beats per minutes, of course, that would have to match because, you know, you want to have the same time signature that you had with your original MIDI pattern. You know, of course, I'm using it with, with these drums here. So it's not going to line up exactly the same because what I had over there is, is, is a different uh, session. So, you might, you know, you might want to be aware with that when you're lining up your MIDI notes. You know, you want to have the same drum sounds that you had over there. So you might want to take those same sounds and for, well, for Ableton anyway, you can save your file and it has a folder in it that's called um, import, I think it's called imported samples, something like that. So you can get those exact same sounds that you had in your session. And then it's just more or less, you know, scan them in here or drag them and drop them, whatever you want to do. Now you can right click here. You can select import MIDI like this. You can go to the desktop here and here it is right here where it says Ableton MIDI. That's one way. Okay. Another way or rather a, a more lengthy way, <laughs> I should say, is if you were going under your file, and go through your computer right here where it says desktop able to submit it here. So either way, the, the choice is yours. Uh, being that I'm already on the screen, I'll just grab it like this and I'll just drop it on there. All right, and you see that it brings in the MIDI pattern here. Now, just to be clear so that we don't have any confusion, of course, I'm doing this video for just demonstrational purposes. If you're bringing in your MIDI notes, okay, you definitely want to have the exact same drum sounds that you had in your original session because the MIDI pattern that's getting brought in here, it's not coinciding what I have here. So do not let that throw you off. Again, I repeat, do not let that throw you off because the drum sound, you know, I'm just doing this for a tutorial video. Of course, you wouldn't have um, any drum sounds here before you brought your MIDI notes in. Or you might have, you know, a VST instrument or whatever the case may be. So in most DAWs, when you export your MIDI notes or you save that project, it should have a folder where you can get those exact same drum sounds that you had over there in this particular situation being that we're doing drums so you know be aware of that be mindful of that because what happened is you know you might get confused with the pattern like obviously i like it says snare here but don't let that confuse you that's not a snare that that was the hi-hat you can obviously look at that and tell that is a a hi-hat pattern you know just looking at that you know you could look at this and tell that would have been the kick because it's on the one that's on the one beat this would have been a snare because it's on the two beat so it's Boom, tss, cat, tss, boom, cat, you know, basically what we did over there. So don't let that confuse you. So um, I, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the hardware controller for a minute and give you guys an idea of how to check out these patterns on the machine studio. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the video. Give me a second. I'm going to set the cam up again. It's your boy Fontaine, VIP soundlab.com. Be sure to come by the website. We got free drum kits. Uh, we got free controller editor templates. We have a, a VIP membership that's only $9.99 with no monthly fees. Again, I repeat, no monthly fees. We're going to be covering the Machine Studio 2.0 as well as the Machine Studio hardware. Absolutely free. Again, you heard it right. Absolutely free. And you guys definitely want to take advantage of that, um, you know, with no monthly fees. And, you know, we give out free monthly goodies as far as free drum kits and controller editor templates and, you know, all type of good stuff we got going on over there. So you definitely want to keep the VIP sound lab on a lot. All right. And we're back on the uh, machine studio controller here. Again, your scene button is located there and this is how you can zoom in and out on your scene as well as navigate uh, through your scene. Just as a quick reminder and over here on the pattern pattern tab here, as you can see right there, there's our MIDI pattern that was brought in. And again, you can zoom anywhere on that pattern like so and easily navigate as I'm doing here. I hope that the cam can uh, show that for you guys. 
Uh, let me know if not, I can go and get a better camera with uh, a clearer video. If, if you guys need that, I will be more than glad to accommodate you uh, with that. That's absolutely no problem. So that's pretty much it. I'm zooming in on the pattern. There you go. That's pretty much how it works, you know. You can set your length here. Let me uh, zoom in on that. See, I was chopping everything off. Of course, that's ridiculous. I mean, you there's no way you would have a beat that short, but I'm just showing that. So, um, yeah, you can loop that anywhere in the pattern here. Let me bring it back to four right quick. Make it an even four, four. I mean, an even four bars. All right, there's four bars right there. Boom. Zoom it in and out. That's how you do it. <clears throat> All right, so with that being said, this is your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Need weapons for your lab? Get industry standard professional drum libraries, free machine tutorials, machine expansions, and more. And more. Keep it locked to www.vipsoundlab.com.